Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model a cooking pot. First of all, we need to add a circle to make the entire body and the basic body for the pot. Hit the top key to switch to edit mode, then it to extrude along the z-axis. Just drag it like this to about there. Select the edge loop like this, then E to extrude. Click on the left mouse button, then scale it out just a tiny bit. Like this. Scroll a bit along the axis, just a little bit, then scale it. E to scale, E to extrude, then as to scale it out just a tiny bit. Select uh, the edge loop like this, then to extrude, then S to scale. Let's scale it in just a little bit like this, then grab it along the C axis and drag it uh, down, downward. So uh, let's leave it like this. To extrude. Then as to scale it in, so we need to grab it along the axis upward just a bit. Then Ctrl F for bringing the grid fill. To have created the body of the cooking pot. Before uh, moving to modeling the other parts like uh, handles, on the left, uh, on the left side and on the right side, also modeling the lid and the knob. I want to. And so Sodify modifier to give it some thickness like this. Click on uh, this range, go over here, search for Sodify modifier, click. Then let's add just a tiny bit, uh, just thickness. So let's uh, orbit around, take a look at this. I think this will be so fine. Point, uh, zero 0.03. Just leave it like this, then we need to apply um, this modifier. Make sure that you are in the object mode, then apply it, apply like this. Let's take a look at the new topology created when applying subdivision uh, when applying subdivision modifier. Because of the symmetry of this uh, cooking pot. You need to use the mirror modifier in order to to just model on one side and the other side will be mirrored to the to the first side. So I don't need to use the mirror modifier just just I want to model on the left hand on the right hand side and the, on the left side on the left hand side. I will mirror it. I will mirror it light. The mirror. I will mirror it uh, later using the edge dropper. Will be mirrored to the body of this teapot after separating the handle. Hit one for the front side view, and uh, hit three on the pad for the side view. Also, uh, let's. Uh, Let's model the handle Let's add uh, more topology Let's add look at, Ctrl R to add the look at like this Then uh, drag it to close to the top I think this will be fine just like this Then we need Ctrl R to add another look at like this Hit 3 on numpad 
Let's uh, switch to face selection mode, select these two faces, then try to insert them like this. Let's delete these two faces, hit X to delete faces like this. Then switch to edge selection mode, then hold down Alt click on left mouse button, then try to extrude it along the X axis like this, drag it out. Just a little bit. I think this uh, will be good and fine. So let's uh, zoom out. Let's zoom in again. So let's extrude it like this. Another time, extrude it along the x axis like this. But I think this is so good because we are going to scale it. Just scale it a tiny bit like this. And you um, should maintain the proportions of this uh, kind of handle because sometimes you need to use the reference image and use some dimensions. I think this will be fine, so uh, let me show you some tricks over here to model this uh, kind of handle. Drew along the x-axis like this. I think this will be so good, just uh, like this. Let's take a look. Should be so fine, let's zoom in again. And uh, I will Create also a handle cutting into this uh, into this object into this handle. So uh, let me show you also how to fill this. Switch to vertex selection mode, then select these four vertices like this. It have to fill. Also select these four vertices like this. It have to fill. Also, this uh, edge need uh, to be resized and extended out. Shift, hold down Shift and uh, Alt keys. Same time, click on the left mouse button to select these edges. I think I should uh, scale it out. Alone, uh, scale it out uh, to Y axis, hit S, then constrain it, constrain it to Y axis. This should be much more wider than the other parts, than the, this part. So let's uh, add loop cut, control R to add loop cut at the middle of this handle, then uh, click on left mouse button to confirm. Also, we need to scale it in just a tiny bit along the Y axis, I think. Let's scale it like this. Also for this part, uh, hit Alt, then select this edge loop. Let's scale it to Y axis, scale it in. Just a tiny bit, it will be good. Also for this part, let's select uh, this uh, also, Alt Shift and Alt keys, click on left mouse button to select then scale it in along the Y axis. I think this will be fine. So let's make the other parts add more topology and add more detailing for our 3D model as a cooking pot. Cooking pot. And this will be fine and good, I think. Uh, now, for now, let's select uh, all, then shift and turn to, to normals. And this is very important for the face orientation in order to keep moving and avoiding some topology issues and the uh, 
cricket normals because later we'll have some shading issues and some problems so uh, let's move on this time I will uh, will hit M key on the keyboard to merge by distance and we have no problem with duplicated vertices no duplicated vertices this also can make some issues shading issues and bad topology so this is the first part see you in the next part which deals with some tricks how to model and continue modeling the other parts like the handle the hole that go into this handle and also to add the lead which go into cover this cooking pot also to add in a knob and some detailing on the lead and fixing topology in the other next parts thanks for watching